What you bought? Did you make it up? Uh, I thought it was a little bit. I thought it was a little bit of a nervous performance, a little bit tentative. Which I, especially the first half, I thought we got we got better and stronger as it went on. For the last twenty minutes, we were on top and could have won it. But I did think it was a little bit. I thought a little bit nervy, which I get, which I understand. I think they're a they're a really honest group. I think they feel the. They're desperate to do well. They feel the weight of the expectation sometimes. Um, I thought that was reflected at times in the performance where it was just a little bit, a little bit tentative. But in fairness, we have said to them that if you can't, if you can't win, don't lose. And there have, we have fallen, we have fallen just the wrong side of a lot of games, especially recently where it's been one goal here or there. Um, so in a way, that's a that's a sign of progress, and we'll take the point and we'll respect the point because. I think the other thing you have to bear in mind is that they're, uh, they've gone to some tough places recently, Derby and Plymouth and, and won, so um, we'll respect the point and move on. When you say it was nervy, do you think it's the recent run of results, not necessarily performances, that have caused the team to be a little bit nervy? It probably, it's probably, rightly or wrongly, you know, there's probably a little bit more expectation on this game. Um, and they'll, they'll feel that. They'll feel that and that will... they'll. You know, it's part of their learning process to, you know, to ultimately, if you want to be, if you want to play at the uh, at the level these lads want to get to, coping with pressure is one of the things that you that you have to develop and and learn. Do you think there was more pressure today because of expectation than perhaps the Derby game or the Plymouth game? I don't know. You could probably you could probably tell me. To be honest, it's. I always say to the lads, by the time the by the time by the time kickoff comes round, I'm always I always believe we're going to win the work we've done and the plan and but it, the expectation externally there probably is a little bit more there probably is less expectation on your your Plymouth and your Derbies than rightly or wrongly Port Vale because they are a good team and they have had some stellar results away from home. What was it that? made you think that perhaps the team didn't quite fire today in the way they fired in recent weeks? Uh, I just thought we looked a little bit... The first half, I thought the second half we managed to wrestle the momentum back, which is which is credit to them, but I thought the first half we looked a little bit a little bit reactive, um, whereas in recent, I think when we've been good recently, we've been on the we've been on the front foot and we've we forced the tempo of the game and we just looked a little bit a little bit reactive for whatever reason but on the other side presumably you're very pleased that the runner goals which is most unlike you has uh, been halted with a clean sheet yeah they're the positives they're the positives is that we've we've taken a point and you're not going to be you aren't going to be brilliant every week so if you if you're not for whatever reason you're not hitting your straps and it's not quite your day individually then do the basics really well close things off take a point so clean sheet point move on to next week we made one change with Ryan Jackson coming on how close were you to making other changes towards the end uh, yeah there's lots of different permutations going through my mind on the side um, personnel formations um, it just we changed the shape a little bit uh, we at the midfield, move Broomy a little bit higher forward. Thought it would. Broomy's energy might get us up the pitch a little bit, and obviously we know what we know that we can hang a hat on Jacko out there. But you decided in the end that the eleven you had on the pitch was was the best bet. Which, when it's nil nil, people might have said, well, perhaps bring a forward on or something like that. But you chose not to do that. No, I think it's just getting the getting the balance. I think we'd taken a. If we'd have put another forward on, we would probably have had to we'd probably have to change the shape. And the game was so delicately poised and I did feel that we were coming on felt that we had all the momentum in the last twenty minutes and that we were coming on strong and you risk you risk disrupting the flow if you sometimes you can make a change for the sake of making a change and it can it can be counterproductive. Trump's a deadline on Tuesday. What's the head coach asked his director of football for? Uh, he's listen. He's. We were on the phone last night till I don't know what time. So, um, 
I can't tell you who or what we've asked for. I wouldn't want to be too revealing, but there's loads. There's loads of work going on. I'm sure there is. How many? How many players are you hopeful you might get in? Not going to ask you names. Not going to ask you where they play. But what? But it, what quantum? Uh, it will be. It'll be one or two. It won't be masses and masses. But I don't think we need masses and masses. Um, I think it just. It'd be nice to have one or two just to change the dynamic a little bit and give everybody a little bit of a lift and freshen things up. Um, but I don't think we. I don't think the squad needs. You know, we had a big we had a big churn in the summer, so fortunately we're in a position now where we don't need to we don't need to do masses. And as again, any expectations of people coming in for any of your players? Sorry, say that again. Any expectations that someone will come in for any of your players? Any noise that people might come in? Not that I'm I've not I'm not aware of any any bids or anything like that. I guess I know who you're asking about, but no, as far, I'm not I'm not aware of anything though. No. What do you do on chance of deadline day, Wade? We'll be in. We'll be in training. We'll be in training, working. Um, if I need to hang around the the training ground afterwards, I will do. Hopefully. Um, if I don't, I'll go home and have my dinner and watch it on the telly. Do you enjoy the day? Uh, I used to enjoy it when I used to enjoy getting a couple of years ago getting the popcorn and. Seeing all the reporters out the ground, yeah. But now? Uh, it depends how it goes. I'll tell you on Wednesday if I've enjoyed it or not. <laughs> Wait, thanks so much indeed. Cheers, Pete. With the last January, you got, I know you weren't head coach at the time, but a lot of players came in right at the start of the month and there wasn't a huge amount left to be done at the end. So, have you got any idea why it's, why it's going right to the wire maybe this year? What the difference is? Uh, no, I couldn't give you that. I couldn't give you that nuance and answer on the on the balance of the market I think probably the position we're looking there's a lot of clubs looking for there's probably a small pool of players and a and a big number of clubs looking so um, you know maybe maybe the last window was the outlier that we you know we did some outstanding work really really early but it might be unrealistic to expect that every every window yeah. if you were to go to Bolton with a striker that's quite high up on your list and the window shut, would you be satisfied with that as a, as a month? I'd be, if we go to Bolton with the squad I've got now, I'll be satisfied. If we go there with uh, with one or two more, I'll be delighted. Yeah. Elkin Baggett available for the first time today. How close, uh, how you know, keenly do you think you can push the other three for, to get into that back three uh, before Lewis comes back? Yeah, we've got we've got our numbers back up to five. Um, and he's coming, he's obviously it was a little bit of a disruptive week. He's, he's, I feel a little bit for Alcon because he came in, he obviously had an issue last weekend, so he wasn't, it would have been nice for him to be around it and get a feel of it then, which he was unable to do. A uh, little bit of a disrupted week with the game being off, um, but he's trained well Thursday, Friday, um, and he's pleased to have another option in there. Yep. Have you seen the penalty shout back yet? I haven't. I'm not, I'm sick of talking about referees. Well, we'll leave the referee out of it, but at first glance, did you think it was a penalty? Uh, it looked, the the fourth told me that the ref uh, thought he got the ball. I, I thought, first glance, I thought he'd gone through Broomey to get the ball. Um, but the refs, ref decided it's not and he's closer than I am. Um, Liam Serkin was, was, was out of his boot now, isn't he? Uh, is, are the initial signs good that he's... He's pretty close. Yeah, I don't, I don't think Cirks won't be. It won't be a really long one. Um, we tried. We tried. A, a, there were two ways we could have gone with it, and we obviously we tried the short one because we'd like Cirks to have been back as soon as possible. He just he just felt it a little bit. So um, yeah, hopefully Cirks will be on the on the treadmill next week, and we start building him up. If there's no reaction.